Hey everybody, Ed from Team Swish here, and today, a little bit of Pauper. Um, so anybody who knows me personally knows that I used to play a great deal of Pauper. Not as much in recent years, but used to play a ton, and this was actually one of my favorite decks. This is Pauper Bogles. So what is Pauper Bogles? So, step one, Hexproof Creature. Step two, Auras. Step three... Kill your opponent. That's it. You get a hexproof creature like Glade Cover Scout or Slippery Bogle or Solana Ledgewalker. You put a whole bunch of auras on them. Uh, most notably, Ethereal Armor, which grants plus one plus one for each enchantment you control in First Strike, and Ancestral Mask, which gets plus two plus two for each other enchantment on the battlefield. Uh, then Trample and some Life Gain. Uh, first strike and making an extra body to prevent to protect ourselves from sacrifice effects. Uh, Rancor for more trample. Some mana fixing enchantments. And then we go ham and we beat our opponent to death with a big dumb monster of our own design. So, that's step one. We've ran through, if our opponent has a particularly difficult creature that we need to get out of the way for some reason, we just ram through it, smash it out of the way, deal a little extra damage to them. Um, notably in our mana base here, this Cave of Temptation is a land that taps for uh, colorless mana, or we can pay one and tap it for a mana of any color, or pay four, tap and sacrifice it to put two 1-1 one, one counters on a creature. Uh, this is important because in the late game, if you kind of flat out a little bit, you just sacrifice it to put some counters on one of your hexproof things, and just hit harder. So, in the sideboard, lifelink for the aggro matchup, gain a little extra life, uh, flaring pain for decks playing, uh, damage prevention effects like fogs or circle of protections or things of that nature, uh, gut shot. Uh, there are a reasonable number of X1 creatures in this format that mean a lot. Uh, things like uh, Quark Clan Shaman. Uh, feel free to look that one up. Um, so... We want answers to some creatures, um, and Gutshot being an instant that doesn't cost us any mana to pay seems pretty good. Uh, natural state to destroy artifacts and enchantments. Uh, most of the ones we're going to care about are going to be three mana or less, so this is fine, and it's instant speed, and it costs one mana. It's great. Uh, Young Wolf. Uh, for the ma for the matchups where our opponents are going to constantly try to sweep the board over and over and over, uh, Young Wolf is just a threat where we put it into play. They clear the board, great, they come back, we slam them with enchantments and we go to town. Um, or we just beat them with two twos until such point as we can stitch together something else. Uh, finally, the weird one here, this is Standard Bearer. Uh, so there are a few effects like this in the format. Uh, this is pretty probably the common one. Uh, this is two mana for a 1-1 one, one Human Flag Bearer. When an opponent is choosing targets as part of casting a spell they control or activating an ability they control, that player must choose at least one flag bearer on the battlefield if able. So, when your opponent is assigning targets for, say, their auras, <clears throat> you can make them direct those to standard bearer. If your opponent was a particularly aggressive deck, um, and you somehow needed to kind of take some heat off of your own, off of yourself, you can make them point their bolts at standard bear. Um, all of this being, like, fine. Um, big one being the mirror. Uh, if your opponent is playing their own auras, you want to make sure that all of their auras have to target your standard bear. So, pretty great. There's also a 4 mana 2-4, I think, version of this creature. Uh, Coalition Honor Guard. That sees some play in some of the slower kind of grindier control decks. Um, but uh, we're a little more aggressive. You can see our we have 26 one drops on our deck. Uh, so we want to play the two mana one. Even if it is a little smaller stat line. So um, that's Pauper Bogles. Without further ado. Let's get started. Alright. <clears throat> Round one with Pauper Bogles. And we have won the die roll which is excellent for us. Um, so this is not incredible, if I'm being honest, but, like, fine. Let's 
So, we're going to play our Glade Cover Scout on one. The number of one mana edicts that exist in the format are basically, is basically zero. Young Wolf, sure. Alright. One in growth. Always yield. Make a cartouche, give this thing first strike. I will attack here, it's basically free. <clears throat> uh, it seems like opponent could be on Stompy, so like if opponent had like something like a mutagenic growth, like that's a little questionable, but opponent has a Rancor, sure. Opponent has double Rancor, okay. Uh, I'm gonna trade this token. Reason being, I can ram through, kill it again. Okay. You got... Perfect. That's not a land, but... Ram through? Perfect. Okay. Burning Tree Emissary, sure. Nest Invader. Yep, so this is just Stompy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Arctic Tree Line. Rancor here. This is actually perfectly fine for me to attack here. So this matchup is going to be weird because it's basically going to be the two of us racing, almost entirely ignoring each other. Green, green. <clears throat> Sack a creature or pay three. Sure, sure, sure. You have a five, four. Opponent has green. Yup. Definitely want to find some sort of life gain now. Gonna take nine here. Okay. We found it. Hooray. White, green, green. We have a 6 4 first striking trampler. It's going to gain us some life. I'm easy going to trade this off or put this in front of one of their creatures. One mana. Another Rancor? This is another Rancor. Okay. Let's 
7, 12, heal 6, I go to 13. Opponent needs to have double pump spell here. Okay. Pitskulk is irrelevant here. Like, wholly and completely. Okay. Make this enormous. Want to do 25? 12? No. Oh, okay. They're done with me. <laughs> Got it. Alright, so... I like Lifelink. I like Standard Bearer. Um, the, uh, they could play Fog Effects. I think I can play through them. I think Heliod's Pilgrim is too slow. And I think I don't need the Cartouche of Solidarities. And then everything else seems great. I'm not particularly worried about gut shot here. Like, my game plan is to beat them through just making bigger idiots. Which I think that we're quite, quite ready to do. This card is going to be ass. Like, it seems weird, but that standard bear is actually going to be very good. And it's weird that I talked about it, like, previously made such a big deal uh their rancors and their pump spells going at my standard bear top shelf very very good uh this doesn't have a creature that is not acceptable we have to mulligan that one this does have a creature uh i'm gonna keep i'm gonna ship this ancestral mask even though it's one of the better cards in the matchup Green Ranger, sure. Got it. Okay. Alright. I think here I can just play... Bogle? I'm in a weird spot because I don't actually know what color I want to name with this Utopia Sprawl yet. Green is very clearly the, the present winner. But I'm going to need white mana at some point. Promise I'm not blocking. Another Quarian Ranger, sure. That's fine. Sprawl here. This is going to make my white mana. <clears throat> In the name green. Draw a card. Rancor here. I'm not going to attack there because that they just easy money trade that off. I do have another body, but I would rather wait. This is fine. Sentinel's okay. Untap. Yep. Okay. Gas. Standard bear.
It's going to make it particularly difficult for an opponent to get through all of our stuff. Green. <clears throat> Hunger the Hell Pack. Sure. Let's play another one here. So cards that we're worried about now are things like Tranquility. Uh, just any destroy all enchantments kind of situation. Mostly because all of our white mana is coming from this land. Yep, Gleeful Sabotage. There it is. Gross, gross, gross. Yeah. And it's happening. I don't like it, but it's happening. That was exactly the kind of effect that I was talking about. Something that would blow up our white mana that we're really kind of after right now. <laughs> yep, you got it. Um... I'm willing to do that because I just get the Rancors back and then I have this Glade Cover Scout that I can put them on. Fit Skull, sure. Well, then we're going to do it all right now. Okay. Not interested in dealing with any of that right this second. Metal Sentinel, sure. Okay. Oh, I need to draw things other than random green sources. Okay. So what we want to see right now is abundant growth into... Yeah, two, four, five, six, sure. What we want to see right now is abundant growth into... Gross. Okay. Kind of price into blocking with this this turn now, which I really don't like. Vines of Astral. <laughs> I yeah, okay. There's a pit skulk, okay. We are in trouble. Yup.
Um, that is still enough to kill us. All right. Drew the wrong half of the deck. So, could consider things like Gut Shot again. I still don't think it's worth it. The Standard Bear, I think, is going to do a lot of really, a lot of the heavy lifting there. Uh, I, again, missing out on all of our enchantments that gain life kind of, kind of terrible. But, all right. Let's run it back. Yes. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, keep. His hand is a touch slow, but... The two of these together are going to do a lot of work. Tree line, go. Vault Scourge, sure. Geese. Not a bad one. This one. Name White. Tap this for green and play a Bogle. Sequencing there was kind of weird. You gotta. Show me all your pump spells. No pump spells. Got it, got it. Nest Invader, sure. Ooh, that's a good one. Always yield. Gas, this is great. Couldn't be happier. Green. Name white. White, white. This one. This one. Tag for nine. Yep. <coughs> so, Queen Ranger is fine. <coughs> Bounce on tap, sure. Forest. Okay. Exile a creature from your graveyard. Exile target artifact or enchantment opponent controls. Sure. That's fine. Hunger of the Hell Pack, sure. You have a 4 4 flyer with lifeline. I accept. Dece. Green, white. Green. Cloak here. Combat. Seven first strike trample lifelink. Lifelink. Uh, worth noting there because Armadillo Cloak doesn't actually gain life give lifelink. Always yield to cloak. It is a triggered ability like you see there that happens upon combat damage. That is relatively important. Uh, lifelink is instantaneous. Two. There's a masked vandal. We're gonna take the ethereal armor. Sure, sure. Oh, we're gonna take cloak. 
Okay. Wild. I'll, I'll easy money blocking that. I don't need that creature. Is this hunger? It's another Vault Scourge, sure. Okay. No point in playing that right now. I think we're just gonna make green white, play this thing. Go to combat. Oh, there was a point in playing that. Now that I think about it, there was a point in playing that. It was a point of damage. Which is somewhat relevant. Uh, yeah. You don't actually have reach. You just can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. This is fine. We're gonna play this weird swingy back and forth game. Okay. <sighs> green. Here. Same green. Green. Cast this. Okay. Got it. They have to decide if they're willing to trade this now because they don't know if they're going to get another chance. Oh, okay. They're just going to take it. Glade Cover Scout will very easy step in front of Masked Vandal. Yes, do I need to? Four, five, six, seven. I died a double giant growth or similar. Yeah, we'll put it here. That's a nest invader. Sure thing. That is something that doesn't particularly do anything. I guess I can basic land cycle this. Go find my basic planes. Play my basic planes so that my mana is stable. And then just pass. The The scariest part about them having this nest invader is not actually the, the nest invader itself. It is the fact that it is another green creature for conspire. Okay. Yikes. Well, stomped by Stompy, womp womp. But, uh, yeah, I mean, close. Uh, I think the, the the actual factual card lifelink at any point in time would have been absolutely incredible. But, not that lucky. Opponent had to spend two Masked Vandals pretty early to deal with a couple various enchantments. So, I think that we could have been in a pretty okay spot. But, we'll see how much better we fare in round two. Catch you in a minute into round two and we have lost the die roll unfortunately uh easy mulligan no creature no land uh sure seems fine keep i think i'm gonna ship thriving grove here Okay. Windscarred Crag specifically says opponent is on Boros.
which I think I'm just gonna play the bogle now <clears throat> I'm gonna play it naked I'm gonna make them do the thing Rancor? Do you have the electricery already? They do. Okay, that's fine. There's another one. So, we have lost one Rancor, which is kind of relevant. Hawk, sure. So this matchup can be particularly difficult because of the card Patrician Scorn. Okay. So, tree line. Sprawl here. Name green. Ledge Walker. I will trade off this Bogle if they will allow it. They will. <coughs> I know they have more Squadron Hawks. That's fine. They're going to play another Hawk. They're going to get one more out of their deck. Oh, they're going to choose not to. Okay, interesting. Gross. I'm just going to pass here. This will make opponent think this is... I guess if I had Ram Throw, I would have played it there. Yeah, there wasn't a particular reason to Battle Screech. Sure, that's whatever. Screech again. That's how that works. I am familiar. So there you go. No particular reason to lose this creature if I don't have to. Save this one in hand because I'm eventually going... Like, if opponent draws electricery again, it will be relevant. Faithless looting. This is where they dump prismatic strands into the graveyard. Uh, they dumped the Squadron Hawk. Wow, huh? Weird. Okay. That's so strange. I would have kept the Guardian because four of the creature, five of the creatures in my deck are a single color. Like, sure, eight of them you can't block with it. Or, or four of them you can't block. Four of them... Are, okay, you are the monarch. I hate that. Like, kind of a lot. Okay. Play my land. So, now I just need, like, one more enchantment that pumps. And we're good to go. Flashback looting. Let's see if opponent dumps strands now. They dump journey, sure. Inspector, that's fine. Uh, something like a rancor here would be excellent. Rancor, Armadillo Cloak, we got neither. No reason to attack yet. Correct clue to draw a card, yep, makes sense.
opponent has rally? No. Three, four, five, six, seven. And 12. 19. I have to block. Okay. Yep, rally. 15, 19. I got a one if opponent has both I'm dead. Oh, flashback rally. Right, 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 right. Gross. Okay. Uh, flaring pain is great. Um, what else? What else do I necessarily? I don't need the cartouche. I don't hate something like lifelink. Um, I think you can cut a ram through. And then I think everything else is good. Uh, again, the big card we're watching here for here is Patrician Scorn. Patrician Scorn is going to cause a whole lot of ridiculous blowouts where they just blow up all of our enchantments all at once. But they have to cast another white spell before it. Usually the blowout involves them casting Prismatic Strands and then Patrician Scorn. And then your thing deals no damage and they get to eat it. Uh, I mean, yeah. Keep. Um... I'm gonna play this first. Name White. Say go. Sprawl here. Name Green. Abundant growth here. I'm not interested in playing this Bogle until such point as I need to. And that's why. The reason to play it naked there, <clears throat> I want opponent to blink first. Perfect. Alright, green green here, this. This is where we name white. Seven you <clears throat> playing around the electricery there. It very much felt like opponent had it. I also missed that they discarded prismatic strands. That's kind of a big deal. Garrison again. Seeker, yep. Kill this now. Yep. 
Yep. Just get it out of the way. Another seeker, sure. Oh, good grief. This feels a lot like strands into patrician scorn. How do I beat strands into patrician scorn? I don't. All right. Sure. Whether or not they have patrician scorn i think is going to depend like we'll see how they block flaring pain do you have it show it to me The opponent hasn't manipulated their deck in any way, so if they have it, they have it natural. Okay. So they didn't have the Patrician Scorn. Interesting. Very interesting. Looting, sure. <clears throat> Discarding two lands. Hawk, sure. It's going to be fetch up Hawks, then flashback looting. That seems like a reasonable thing for you to do. Weird. I'm going to hold all this for right now. I'm just going to pass. I just need to draw a creature. Screech. Yep. Opponent is still being very, very cautious to hold up like they have electricery. Yep. <clears throat> sure thing. They found a land drop. Play this Glade Cover Scout. It's funny, the card I'm actually looking for here is Heliod's Pilgrim. They're going to flashback looting, sure. Now it's just they want to discard. Looting pirate. Weird. Am 
I getting rallied here? 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I mean, I'm dead either way. I won't block. If you have rally, you have rally. Yeah, I'm stone cold dead if you have rally. There was no way I was ever beating that. Yikes. All right, not off to a hot start. We're 0-2, but uh, let's turn this around, win our way out, and find ourselves into a 3-2. See you back in round three. All right. Round three, we have lost the die roll, but this one feels pretty reasonable. I'm going to keep it. Okay. Blue source, sure. Second blue source, you got it. Feels like counterspell. You got it. Cycle. Basic forest. Forest. Vogel. <laughs> nice. Got him. <clears throat> Pwn is going to basic land cycle. Swamp, sure. You got the edict? No, they have Augur of Bolas. Okay. That one I don't care so much about. Preordain. Yep, yep. Okay. So, my own Bogle. Serial Armor, Rancor, Combat, Six, Cool. Reordain's fine. <clears throat> Evolving Wilds, sure. Promise you we're not blocking. Okay. That's fine. I have a sneaking suspicion opponent has some sort of counterspell that they want to to use here. Okay. Ooh, what are we doing? We're paying costs. That's a fish. Oh, you're so dead. Beep beep. 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 13? Opponent is at 1. What's the plan now, opponent? Ninjutsu. I understand. Your ninja is fine. I accept these terms. What are you, what are you hoping to draw? Okay. Wild. Alright. So, uh, opponent is on ninjas, blue-black control, delver, whatever. Um, I think we're just naturally good against that. 
Like, I don't... I can't think of anything that I necessarily want. I have two cartouches. I have an extra... So, something I didn't cover. Uh, the list that I originally was looking at when I start, checked out Pauper on my own stream a while back, it had a th only three ledge walkers and a third cartouche. I've opted for a fourth ledge walker. Uh, similar concepts, but this one also has is an evasive body. Uh, yeah, I think we just auto back to this. Um, natural state, young wolf. I don't think I want any of this in particular, if I'm being honest. Young wolf is the only thing that I'm even, like, kind of remotely interested in. And I don't even think that's a thing that I want. Uh, once upon a time, some of these lists used to play Pyroblast in the sideboard or Dispel. Uh, those are cards I might be interested in. But, given the way the sideboard is configured, I think we're alright. Uh, also wouldn't hate it if we had access to, um, there's a land that makes a 1-1. One, one. Uh, this ain't it. Uh, still no creatures. Keep, I guess. Uh, ship. Cave. Ship mask. Done. Ice tunnel. Puritan is fine. Feels like a point might be looking for a discard spell. Uh, divest being kind of one of the big ones played in the format. Basic land cycling. Go get my planes. Bogle. If I get spell pierced here, I'm going to be kind of upset. Okay. We did not get spell pierced. Hooray! Yeah, the line that opponent had there would have been spell pierce untap edict. That would have been pretty atrocious. Cloak. Four four trample for strike life link. I will yield. <sighs> okay, so removal spell on tap edict. Yup, you got it. It's wild to me that people are leaving in spot removal against the Hexproof deck now, but like, I get it, I guess. And go. This is now a problematic situation. This was really the turn I needed to draw a creature. <clears throat> now, without having a creature, opponent untaps and has counter spell mana up. They say that, and then they immediately... Okay. You got it. They immediately drop their counterspell mana. I feel like that was a bit preemptive. This one. This one. If a bon opponent doesn't already have the edict, I'm just going to untap and crack this Cave of Temptation immediately. Like, first opportunity I get. 
Blue. Augur Bolas. Now less convinced of that. Would rather draw Enchantment. That's annoying. Opponent did not have the Edict, but their Augur found it. I accept. It's gone. <clears throat> Perfect. Cat. A body. Opponent needs three mana. Still to be able to flash back their Chainer's Edicts. There's one of them. Unclear why we're doing that now. Give yourself more opportunity. Like, that is a decision you could easily change. That's a fish. I accept. You got it. I mean, it ain't great. I guess I'm gonna do it here because it's the most efficient use of my mana to do so. Four, five, six. Yep, that's atrocious. Okay. Seeing that, I now want these young wolves kind of a lot. In doing so, I think I can cut these ram throughs. I don't think there's a single creature that I care about in their deck. Uh, Heliot's Pilgrim, very good here. Finding Cartouche is kind of important. I think that's where we're at. I would love to play first. Can't keep an Olander. This one better. Uh, keep. Ship. Driving Grove, I guess. Uh, once again, one mana removal not particularly common in the format. Uh, I, by one mana removal, meaning one mana edicts specifically. Make you edict me. Ledge Walker. Cartouche. Okay. I want to get a counter spell stutter sprite. That's fine. You got it. <clears throat> Ninja. Reasonable. Oh, opponent missed a land drop. Let's go. White meeting. This one. Uh, 
Uh, easy money gonna play another Slippery Bogle next turn. The more I can insulate myself against Edict Effects, the better off I am. Very seer. Sure. Trying to improve the value of spells that are sprite. I understand. Opponent now deciding, do I? Do, do I? Okay. You will be allowed to draw a card. That is a fine thing. <clears throat> like, the game plan is just to kill a point with this, this creature in particular. Okay. I will make another idiot. I want to know deciding if they have to spell stutter this to keep the dream alive of trying to win this game through double edict. They have determined that is the line. I accept. It'll attack you for seven. Yep. Opponent goes to one. Opponent now able to double edict. Do they have double edict? That's the million dollar question. We lose if they do. This is also a weird situation. So it seems like... Knowing they had the spells that are spread, it does seem kind of counterintuitive at face value to throw that bogle into it. However, um, the they're as likely to have a counter spell as they are to have an edict effect. I would like to insulate myself from both equally. So if I bait the counter spell out of them, that's fine. That is a card in their hand that is not an edict effect. Because now, again, double edict is what we lose to here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the chance I block that is actual zero. Actual literal zero. Do you have double edict? Pain costs. Brainstorm. That's not double edict. Means that's not a thing I care about. I don't think opponent's deck is capable of presenting enough da enough toughness in a single turn to deal with a 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm willing to be wrong, but 
I don't think it is a thing that they're able to do. Attack. I will play zero cards. Sweet. All right. So that is round three of the books. One and two, but we can still uh, we can still win out of this. I will see you all in round four. All right, back for round four with Pauper Bogles, and we've won the die roll this time, which is great news. Uh, yeah, gross. I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not in love with it. Already tree line go. Mount. Yes. Rift Bolt. Oh, it's Burn. And we already have the Cloak in hand. Look how good we are at this game. All right. Okay. Scout. Bonnet Growth. Draw a card. Sweet. Next turn, Slam Armadillo Cloak. Sounds fantastic. Except these turns. Curse of the Pierce Tart is also fine. Uh, oh, it is enchanting me. Okay. It's really confused there for a minute. Okay. And always you. I'm just going to play this as a land. White. Always yield the cloak. <clears throat> and the next turns consist of Ancestral Mask into Ancestral Mask and my opponent concedes. Oh, they're just already done. Okay. Oh, they're already done with the entire match. Rad. Well, uh, that was a quick one. Uh, but we're now 2-2. Two and two. Let's see if we can uh, round this out. Cash our money back in round 5. See you soon. Alright, back for round five. This one's for all the marbles. Uh, yeah? Yeah, like I'm in. Keep. Scout. This could be a couple of different decks. This could be Affinity. Actually, this feels like Affinity now. Yep, Frogmite, sure. White. Edgewalker. Say go. Next turn, we're going to Ethereal Armor. Sure. Traumatic Star is fine. This one? Uh, no chances on me getting this Pilgrim in play this turn, so I think I'm just going to cycle this for another basic probably another basic forest play all of these things out
Yep, sacrifice their star. Draw two, make draw three cards total, make a treasure. Reasonable. This card has felt kind of absurd. It being an instant and then being able to sack things to it they already want to sack. Like this wellspring. Kind of nuts. Black, red. Do it again. Dispute. Yep. Dispute. Draw three. Make a treasure. Okay. At present, opponent looks like they're going to have to discard. Which I'm kind of okay with. Blood found. Alright. That's fine. Alright. Pilgrim. I think I just want an armadillo cloak here. <clears throat> I've gone well wide of them. Feels like I'm in a pretty reasonable spot. Hey, talk. Yep. You also have, you do have the Disciple of the Vault. Okay. Now we're racing. Blood Fount. Yes. Reasonable. This is the punish for not getting an additional white source. This thing would be enormous. Yield. Opponent has to kill me this turn, and I don't think there's any world in which they get through for damage attacking. Oh, I lied. Yep. That's how they do it. This card is kind of absurd in the deck. Galvanic Blast me. Yep. Blast me again. Sure. <clears throat> yes. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Okay. Show me that you're willing to do the thing. I, I obviously can't block. Yup. Okay. So nine, ten. I'm at twelve. It's an eleven, twelve. Great. You show me you're willing to go all in. Congratulations. Cool. Natural states. Life link. Cut cartouche. Uh, Pilgrim, okay there, but I would rather have things that are a little faster. Um, and then I will also probably cut an Ancestral Mask. Just because I want to be a little faster in this matchup. Yeah, I'm into that. Could probably cut another creature too if I wanted to, but I think we're okay. 
Uh, ram through is great. Ram through will make them sacrifice artifacts when they don't want to. Uh, like this hand just does the thing, but it doesn't take into account anything they're doing. And it doesn't have a way to gain life. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Things I'm gonna ship. This two mana creature that I can't cast. Nope. Play the land. That's what we're trying to do. Play my Vogel. Tap land, go. Got it. Play another one. Tack you for one. Uh... I will go on record, this was a risky keep. This is not a keep I would recommend making to just anybody. Nice. Random basics want, that's annoying. Drarian, yeah, you got it. Thanks, I hate it. White. I will attack. You're just going to take it. Okay. I need to draw another green source here. Or a ram through. Ram through would also be okay. This needs to leave play is what I'm saying. This needs to leave play or I need to make them sacrifice enough artifacts in one shot that I can just play other stuff. Star, sure. I forgot about the gut shot that is pretty much required in this matchup. Okay. I'm gonna blow this up. Any responses? No? Bueller? Okay, they're going to do the thing. I accept. <clears throat> now that this is gone, we're in okay, sh okay shape. Icker Wellspring. Yep, you got it. Do you have another Shaman? I would be upset if you had another Shaman. You don't. That's so good for me. Opponent goes to discard here. Gonna keep an eye on their graveyard here because I want to know what they still have access to. They've been drawing a lot of cards. Oh, that feels pretty okay. Not gonna lie to you. This one. This one. Fountain's fine. You are a ways away from actually activating that. Okay, Frogmite's fine. Duress me. I feel like they take Mask. Like if I was in opponent's position, I would be taking Ancestral Mask. I agree. Land. Cloak. Opponent currently doesn't have access to mana, which is important here. 
the only reason I'm willing to attack. Black, black. Dispute, sure. Opponent's still not getting much closer to activating this fountain to get this correct clan shaman back. Which feels very good for me. Black. Another fountain, sure. I mean, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I will take two and then gain three at bare minimum. Mirror Enfor- Oh, okay, okay. Multiple Mirror Enforcers, I understand. That makes way more sense. Fledgewalker. Say go. Do mana, Aton. Sure. And then Disciple of Vault. I'll be upset. <laughs> yup. Gross. I mean, yeah. You got it. Need mask. Not mask. Gross. Okay. Not will, worth attacking with Ledgewalker for one here. I may need it to block. If I get to block. There's another Disciple of the Vault. That's also bad. Come on. Yep, Wedding Invitation's pretty brutal. And another Enforcer. Yep, you got it. So, if opponent is smart here, they will only attack with Atog. If opponent attacks with anything else but Atog, their life gets harder. Yep. It does not appear that opponent is planning on attacking with anything but Atog. Attacking the new enforcer, sure. Does opponent plan on attacking at all? It's a possibility they don't. Sack blood token. Yep. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. They don't even need to attack. They figured it out. Gross. Yep. We're at one. Big yikes. Well, all right. Well, that is two and three. Um, I feel like the affinity match could have been a little closer. We kind of flooded out there a little bit, um, which is unfortunate. I guess you could have expected to a little bit when you keep a one later, but yikes. Too many dead cards all in a row. Uh, opponent having the duress to take our mask was really bad. Um, yeah, that is unfortunate. Um, oof. Well, alright. But, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you follow all of the content that I'm involved in helping produce on this channel, uh, stay tuned, because episode one of Battlefields and Brews is coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Happy New Year.